best boy smile at you as if they know you very well. Hotels and condominiums on the hilltop and be the captivating city lights. The bridges lay across an island where multi-college crafts fly, resorts and hotels on the shorelines. Oh, it's a tourist paradise. Oh, but how could I forget the Mardi Gras, which we celebrate year after year? Cebu, I'm coming home to you, you see. What a great day it will be, Cebu. I'm coming home to you someday. Discover the beauty of the Philippines. With Philippine Airlines, the country's flag carrier. The airline that lets you feel the warmth of the nation. Mabuhay. I started working at the age of 10 bilang basurero. Instead, nakaawaan ko ang sarili ko. Di pinagbuti ko sarili ko. Matter of mindset. At hanggang sa makagraduate ako. Isa ba po sila ba? Ganun lang yun. Kapapalaga sa pag-aaral. If you have that attitude in your mind, you will know value. I felt so blessed. Sabi ko, why not? To go to public service. In fact, naku, tiyan na naman ako. Ah, wala yan. Artista lang yan. Pakit lang yan. Kasalanan mo? Kasalanan na maging cute. Bumalik naman ako ng eskwelan. Awa naman ng Diyos. Ako'y nakapagtapos. Keep on trying. Wala namang mawawala sa atin. So, kung nangyari sa akin, pwede rin mangyari sa inyo. Wala nang imposible. Ako kayo. Hindi sumusuko. Ako po si Isko. Ako 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 si Isko. Usa ka pagtuo. Usa ka tingog. Usa ka katawhan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. Gikan sa MTV CCTN News Center. Kini ang balita sa alas 12. Puluhan sa mga balita sa alas 12. Cebu City Council, yauhag na monitoron ang mga butika aron ni Musaka ang presyo sa mga tambal. Cebu City Police Office, may sugod na papakatap sa mga polis. Sugod kagabi eh, isip kabahin sa Pista Senyor. Mayong unto ako si Dennis Tabar, kauban sa News Ang Puwersa. Sa CCT News Team, kami muhatod ka ninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. Karon sa detalye sa atong mga balita, ang Cebu City Council ni Ahuag karon sa mga ahinsya sa gobyerno nga monitoron ang mga butika aron masiguro nga dili sila makapasaka sa ilang presyo sa tambal labi na sa hilanat o buog sipon. Gawas sa pagpugong sa presyo ng musaka, unod usab sa resolusyon nga ginuso ni Council Dave Tumulak nga dili mag 
pag-hoarding o mga tambal ang butika o giyawag sa katawan nga likayan ang pagpanikbaying gawa sa butika. Giyawag usab sa Department of Trade and Industry kung DTI, ingon man ang Food and Drug Administration. Otorizado usab ang mga departamento sa gobyerno nga doon ay gahog pagbadlong sa pagsilot sa mga malapason o pagbantay nga dili musaka ang presyo sa mga tambal. Mga basura nga makolekta gikan sa mga panimay sa Cebu City Government direkta kining ilabay ngadto sa Binaleo Landfill samtang ang mga nakuha nga mga kahoy mga debris ug uban pa adto ilabay sa open area sa South Road Properties ang kasayuran ihatod ni Desime Padilla Gibutiag ni Cebu City Councilor Jerry Guardo kinsa usa sa gitahasan sa pagpahigay ng clearing operation sa syudad human gigusbat sa bagyong odet nga gilahi nila ang disposal sa basura og debris nga ilahang makuha. Ang mga basura nga ilang makolekta at temporaryo nga ilabay sa material recovery facility sa barangay Inayawan Landfill o ang mga debris sa masakahoy, dahon o guban pa at to ilabay sa temporaryong labayanan nila sa South Road Properties o Gani. Katong nga basura nga makuha nga doon sa Binaliw Landfill, direktar nga ilabay dito. Ang trash o debris manggod kay uh, Dili Manggod na siya landfill ang kanang sa SRP, no? But allowed lang siya, mga, og mga dahon lang, mga kahoy, pwede rin makalabay pa dito. Anyway, ma-decongest ma ma sa siya, ma-compose sa mana siya. So, ang, ang kato mga basura karon mga household waste bitaw. So, gidiritso na na ito karoon, o labay nga ito, padong na sa, inayaw, uh, sa Binalyo Landfill. Matod ni Guardo nga doon na sa light team nga gitahasan nga panahon sa kagabion, doon ay grupo nga mukolekta sa basura dito sa temporaryong labayanan sa inayawan ng SRP. Aron Hakuto nga gilabay dito sa Binalio Landfill. Dinhing dapita sa South Road Properties, temporaryo nga ni Bukas o Transfer Station, ang Cebu City Government kini Aron. Dinhing da doon ang mga debris o basura nga ilang makolekta. Kinihuman sa pagkusukuso sa Bagyong Odet. Giklaro sa City Government nga temporaryo lang kini o walay ilegal, silang gihimong pagbukas sa temporary transfer station dinhi sa maong lugar. Apan, ang Environmental Management Bureau kon EMB7 himog investigasyon sa paglabay sa Cebu City Government sa open area diya sa SRP sa mga typhoon debris aron masuta kung nakalapas ba sa environmental laws and regulation ang syudad. No, uh, actually, aware gid mi ana no? nga dili gid siya pwede makalabay dito sa SRP but uh, during the uh, the height mo sa sa kanang typhoon or dito niya uh, nagkuha sa we're catching up that time bit okay daghan nag reklamo so wala mi choice ato but to use temporarily ang dito sa SRP niya yeah, but now kebaluta nga dili gid siya pwede i-dump dito ang mga basura mo na nga karon kay medyo na clear naman ato ang mga dala no nalimpyo naman so Uh, Nag-create na sa tag team karon. In fact, we started mga last Monday lang. Kunya, gasigin na taong haul out. Padulong na dito sa uh, Binalio Landfill ang ato ang mga garbage. Inguha sa syudad nga mga basura nga naa sa SRP o Barangay Inayawan. Mahuman og hakot, paingon sa Binalio Landfill sunod si Mana. Gabi ang paghakot nila sa mga basura kay paspas ang balik sa mga sakinan. Itandi sa buntag nga traffic ang kadalanan sa Dakbayan. Desime Padilla. CC Tennis. Human sa heavy duty ng mga generator sets, gipanghatag na usab sa syudad sa Mandawi ang satellite phone sa matag barangay. Kini aron magamit panahon sa katalagman o gunhinay ang signal sa regular nga telepono. Ang kasayuran ni Hatod ni Mereros sa Garino. Human sa pagpanghatag sa syudad sa Mandawi o heavy duty generator set sa tanang 20 city kabarangay aron sa pagtubag sa ilang kakuwang sa kuryente o tubig. Ang Dakbayan, muapod-apod na usab og satellite phone sa matag barangay aron magamit panahon sa katalagman diin hinay ang signal sa regular nga telepono. Gingong ang satellite phones makatabang sa pagtubag sa problema sa komunikasyon. Hilabi na nga dili pa stable ang signal sa mga telecommunication companies ug naputol pa ang landlines tungod sa kadaot nga gihatag ni Super Typhoon Odette. Gusto sa Dakbayan nga mapaspasan ang pagresponde sa mga emergency personnel ug magpabilin ang komunikasyon tali sa Dakbayan ug Barangayan, matod sa syudad, natungod sa kakuwang sa kuryente o nangaguba ng mga cell site, lisod kaayo ang komunikasyon sa mga barangay sa Dakbayan. Then that's very important, Manggod, is how we connect 
to each barangay na naon sa dahil ilang status. Kay secondly, is dili mataka-access nila tungkol sa mga putol ng mga kahoy. So with the use of this satellite phone, is makatawag din na nila, di makapangutan na ka unsa ang natabo, unsa ilang kailanlan, unsa ang tabang na ang mahatag sa syudad sila. Ano siya ang purpose na ng satellite phone? Ang satellite phones, dili mag-agad sa network sa mga cell sites kay kinidirektang mukonek sa mga orbiting satellites nga ana sa kawanangan. Nagkantina doon kapin 38 mil ang matag satellite phone. 30 city kabuok ang gipalit sa Dakbayan. Din ang 20 city ihatag sa tanang barangay. Samta ang nahabiling na po ihatag sa mga department heads na miyembro sa response cluster sama sa CDRRMO, CSWS, City Engineering Office, Department of General Services o Traffic Enforcement Agency of Mandawe. Gipasabot ni Ibanez nga dako kini og tabang dili lang karon apan sa sumusunod pa nga panahon kung adunay katalagman kini human pipila ka mga tao ang nisaway sa pagsigi og palit sa dakbayan og butang uni ang uban wala pa nakadawat og hinabang matud ni Ibanez nga padayon ang distribution sa relief goods nga 25 kilos og napo ka litro nga tubig mainom para sa labing naapektuhan og sunod nga hatagan ang partially damaged nga bay og napo ka kilos nga bugas og napo ka litrong tubig mainom Everything regarding our disaster response, relief and recovery is very is our priority. Das ang city, wala raman dili raman good kani ang sapat po ng gipalit, di ba? Gipalit sa dam city o para sa mga apgapod apod sa mga barangays are chainsaw gipalit para sa mga motors kaoy taksa ang mga kada barangay generators gipalit man sa in fact ongoing ang paghato drone sa mga generators kada barangay mga water tanks. O para sa mga katawon na malit mo sa ang city o mga bugas o tubig na itong gilpunapon. So tanan, tanan regarding sa mga. So dili sa din pasabot na ambi, man naman dili na ni magamit, kaya na may disaster, pero mga lagi, atong ginahuna, dili na magbagyo. Di ba? At least we see the need, palit din ta. Dili ta maghuwat na kanus apa mo abot, di atang palit. Mary Rose Sagarino CCTN News Update sa COVID-19 din sa Central Visayas ang dakbayan sa Subbo aduna ay 37 kamag-ong kaso sa coronavirus kagahapong adlawa kini base sa report sa Department of Health Mandawi, Opat, Lapu-Lapu, Pito Lalawigan sa Subbo, Disinuybe, Bohol, Tulo Negros Oriental, Siam Apan way kaso ang sikihor kagahapon. Sa kinatibukan, muabot sa sitinta inuybi kabagong kaso sa COVID-19 din sa Central Visayas kagahapong at lawa. Siyudad sa Mandawi, nipakalibrate sa mga timbangan sa Mandawi Public Market. Kinaroon masiguro nga insakto ang timbang sa tanang ipamalit niya sa maong merkado. Gihatagan o sabog hangtod karong buwana ang mga manindahay sa merkado diya sa siyudad sa Mandawi nga makapakalibrate sila sa ilang mga timbangan. Giawag ang mga konsumidor nga tanahon ang timbangan sa ilang palitanan kung anaabay calibration nga sticker agi og timaan nga nakalibrate na ang ilang timbangan. Timbangan. Kapulisan sa Dakbayan sa Sugbo, may pakatap o 175 ka mga pulis sugod kagabi. Alang huwibis, alang kini sa seguridad sa motorcade sa Walk with Mary, karong nga kadlaon, kung kaginan ng kadlaon, isip kabahin sa kalihukan sa Pista Senior. Matod ni Police Lieutenant Colonel Wilbert Parilla, ang Deputy City Director for Operations sa Cebu City Police Office, nga gawa sa 175 ka mga police personnel, muabag usab ang mga sundao gikan sa Visayas Command, ingon man ang... Uh, Prevention, Restoration, Order and Beautification kon na-approved team o uban pa. Matag-iskina sa Osminia Boulevard, Butangan o Kapulisan aron dili mabalda ang motorkada sa imahin ni Senior Santo Nino. Mawakad ko ito mga balita sa alas 12 sa ngaan sa tanang kaubanan sa CCTA News and Current Affairs. Ako si Dennis Tabar. At ang ngayon itong Sairi 47, karong alas 5 sa hapon, hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi. Up next, ang Santos nga Misa Manukad Live sa CCTA in Chapel. Naghang salamat.
This live coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and Family. Together with our personal intentions, let us pray for the intentions of all those who are commemorating their birthdays or anniversaries today, and for all those who are virtually participating in this telecast and streamed celebration. We also pray for the needs of all those who tirelessly support the Apostolate of CCTN through prayer intentions, love offerings, sponsorships, and reassuring goodwill. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we ask, Almighty God, that the nativity of the Savior of the world, made known by the guidance of a star, may be revealed ever more fully to our minds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, who indeed is the victor over the world, but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one who testifies, and the Spirit is the truth. 
So there are three who testify, the spirit, the water, and the blood, and the three are of one accord. If we accept human testimony, the testimony of God is surely greater. Now the testimony of God is this, that he has testified on behalf of his son. Whoever believes in the son of God has this testimony within himself. Whoever does not believe, God has made him a liar by not believing the testimony God has given about his son. And this is the testimony. God gave us eternal life, and this life is in his son. Whoever possesses the son has life. Whoever does not possess the son of God does not have life. I write these things to you so that you may know that you have eternal life. You who believe in the name of the Son of God. The word of the Lord. Amen. 
Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. It happened that there was a man full of leprosy in one of the towns where Jesus was. And when he saw Jesus, he fell prostrate, pleaded with him, and said, Lord, if you wish, you can make me clean. Jesus stretched out his hand, touched him, and said, I do will it be made clean. And the leprosy left him immediately. Then he ordered him not to tell anyone, but go show yourself to the priest and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The report about him spread all the more, and great crowds assembled to listen to him and to be cured of their ailments. But he would withdraw to deserted places to pray. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. As we are closing or to going towards the end of the Christmas season, a few days more left, but we will never be out of the context of Christmas time because we will be starting also with our devotions, our love for the Senor Santo Nino. In fact, in the Basilica today, they started already with the first day of the Novena. Here in our practice, in our chapel, we will be starting the Novena tomorrow because we would like to end the Novena on a Sunday, the feast day itself. And since today is also first Friday, we will be doing our devotions to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. So everything is actually in place. Now, before we end the Christmas season, practically, as it is uh, being uh, put in the liturgical calendar, although our reading, our gospel readings, these last few days are already talking about the ministry of Jesus, there is always a dimension of the Christmas, the, what, the birth or the nativity of the Lord. And here in today's Gospel reading, for example, we can take from the perspective of Jesus coming to the world not only for his people. This is still connected with the message of Epiphany that Jesus is, he, he came for all peoples. That's why it's called Epiphany, the manifestation to all the world. In fact, the, the very episode of cleansing the leper in today's Gospel reading does not actually take into account certain strictures. Dili kayo stricto. No? Uh, the leper there, of course, he is not supposed to go near people. But what did he do? He went close to Jesus. He prostrated before Jesus. No, which is not supposed to be done in certain strict uh, Jewish uh, observances. And of course, Jesus is so constant, is also consi always consistent that he always goes closer to those who are actually ostracized or to those who are rejected by society. And here in this very episode, what the leper said to Jesus was responded, not by a word first, but by a gesture. And that gesture is him, Jesus, stretching out his hand. And this stretching out of Jesus' hand is a very, very significant and remarkable manifestation of his nativity. From heaven, he came down to be, up, to be among us. And then stretching out his hand in order to be known and to be manifested to all the world through the, through the epiphany represented by the three kings, he still is continuously stretching out his hands especially when, you look, when we look at the cross. And that is an act of welcoming. It is an act of practically inviting all of us to him. 
And that is the very essence of the nativity of the Lord. That is the very essence of Christmas. It is an act of inviting practically every kind of person. Tanan-tanan, we are all invited. Giagda kita. But then, it is always a context on our part. And I'd like to play on this word. Giagda taniya. No, that is the word for invite in Cebuano, di ba? Although we are using invitar, but invitar, that is Spanish. No? The word in Cebuano is giagda taniya. Now, on our part, mag-agad na sa ato ang tubag. And do you know what's beautiful about the word agad? Kung ato ang na siyang ibalibali, agda. No? So, isulat ng agda, isulat ang agad, mauragin na silang mga litraha. No? So, giagda ta sa ginoo, ang atong tubag, mag-agad rasad ka nato. But ang pag-agad na rin ka nato, nagkinahanglan og dako nga courage, just like the leper. We have to really go to him. No? Because in as much as he reaches out his hand to us, in as much as he is continuously stretching his hand to us, we also have to go closer, come nearer to him. And this is what Christmas life is all about, or Christmas time and our Christian life. It is a constant invitation, and since it is a constant invitation, walay hunong, walay kutat, walay puas, dili matapos nga pag-imbitar. Dili, wala, dili matapos nga pag-agda. So ang atong tubag, we have to accept with all our hearts, with all our humility, and at the same time, with all of God, with all with God's grace, we will be able to come closer to Him. Amen. Dear sisters and brothers, like the leper in the gospel who cried out for healing. We now approach our Heavenly Father with confidence that our prayers will be answered. And so we say, Father, make us whole. Father, make us whole. That the church may never fail in her duty of welcoming the marginalized and those excluded from society. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us whole. That scientists and those involved in medical research may discover remedy for incurable diseases. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us whole. That our community may reach out with love and care to the rejects and untouchables of our neighborhood. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us whole. That families, relatives, and friends may attend to the needs of the sick. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us whole. That those who have died in Christ may be received with love and mercy into God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us whole. Almighty Father, help us to follow your example by reaching out to those we ignore. Increase our faith and accept our prayers through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen.
lady, sisters, and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. May the praise and glory of His name, for our good and for the Lord's holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It's right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through Him, the holy exchange that restores our life has shown forth today in splendor. When our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive an ending honor, but by this wondrous union, we too are made eternal. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy, we proclaim. gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my high blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. We bread and drink this cup. We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, we admit to feel his assistant bishop, all bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may Mary to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's now share with each other the sign of peace. Shalom. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am Lord, not, Lord, not worthy you that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my and my soul shall, shall be healed. spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you and I know I shall not be disappointed. Let us pray. God, who touch us through our partaking of your sacrament, work, we pray, the effects of its power in our hearts, that we may be made fit to receive your gift through this very gift itself, through Christ our Lord. Most sweet Jesus, Redeemer of the human race, look down upon us, humbly prostrate before your altar. We are yours and yours we wish to be, but to be more surely united with you. Behold, each one of us freely consecrates today to your most sacred heart. Many indeed have never known you. Many too, despising your precepts, have rejected you. Have mercy on them all, most merciful Jesus and draw them to your sacred heart. Be you king, O Lord, not only of the faithful who have never forsaken you, but also of the prodigal children who have abandoned you. Grant that they may quickly return to their father's house, lest they die of wretchedness and hunger. Be you king of those who are deceived by erroneous opinions or whom discord keeps aloof, and call them back to the harbor of truth and unity of faith so that soon there may be but one flock and one shepherd. Grant, O Lord, to your church assurance of freedom and immunity from harm. Give peace and order to all nations, and make the earth resound from pole to pole with one cry. Praise to the divine heart that wrought our salvation. To it be glory and honor forever. Amen. Heart of Jesus, Son of the Eternal Father. Amen. 
mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, formed by the Holy Spirit in the womb of the Virgin Mother. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, substantially united with the Word of God. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, of infinite majesty. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, sacred temple of God. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, fountain of life and holiness. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, propitiation for our sins. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, loaded down with opprobrium. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, bruised for our offenses. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, obedient unto death. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, pierced with the lands. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, source of all consolation. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, our life and resurrection. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, our peace and reconciliation. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, victim for sin. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, salvation for those who trust in you. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, hope of those who die for you. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, delight of all the saints. Have mercy on us. Jesus, meek and humble of heart. Make, make our hearts like, like unto yours. Let us pray. O Almighty and Eternal God, look upon the heart of your dearly beloved Son and upon the praise and satisfaction he offers you in the name of sinners and for those who seek your mercy. Be you appeased and grant us pardon in the name of the same Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, world without end. Amen. Amen. Act of consecration to the sacred heart of Jesus. I give and consecrate to the heart of our Lord Jesus Christ my whole life, my actions, my trials, my sufferings, devoting every portion of my being to loving, honoring, and glorifying Him, to working for His love alone, renouncing with all my heart whatever may be displeasing to Him. I take you then, O Sacred Heart, for the object of my love, the protector of my life, the pledge of my salvation, the remedy of my inconsistency, the redeemer of all my faults, and my sure refuge in the hour of death. O heart of all goodness, be my justification before God the Father, and shield me from the effects of his just anger. O heart overflowing with love, I place all my confidence in you, for I dread my own weakness, while I hope everything for your goodness. Consume them in me, whatever may displease you or withstand from your will. And may the pure love of you be so deeply imprinted in my heart that I may never forget you. And I implore you by all your will, your love, that my name may be graven upon your heart. May it be all my happiness and live as die as your slave. Amen. Horatio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, o most holy mother of God. Do not despise our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen.
Señor Santo Nino, Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Our Lady of Guadalupe, Our Lady Health of the Sick, Saint Joseph, Saint Rafael the Archangel, San Roque, San Lorenzo Ruiz, San Pedro Calongson. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Holy Eucharist has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Nicholas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. Philippines. With Philippine Airlines, the country's flag carrier. airline that lets you feel the warmth of the nation. Mabuhay!